Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a video that I know a lot of you are eager to see. Today, I am going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale for the spring, what I recommend for you guys. So if you wanna see what I picked out for you guys, then just keep watching. <laughs> Today's video is really exciting because it is a collaboration with my friend Bella here on YouTube. I thought this would be such a great collaboration for us to do because she has a very, very similar taste in makeup that I do. So if you connect with my taste in makeup, go subscribe to her because she definitely has a very similar taste in makeup as well. We've been supporting each other for quite some time now. She is super sweet. Her videos, she has just such a positive presence to her. She is so sweet, so down to earth, and I really think you guys will like her content. I literally like watch all of her videos. She's literally like one of my favorite YouTubers, and I'm telling you guys, she is going to be big one day. I'm not even kidding. I seriously think she is going to make it big here on YouTube, so definitely go check her channel out go subscribe to her she is so beautiful so sweet and yeah I really just like love her so much so please go show her some love I wouldn't recommend her to you guys if I didn't think you would love her too I don't see how anybody could not love her to be honest so for this collaboration we decided to pick three items that we were both going to share and I'm telling you right now we have such a similar taste in makeup it was really so easy to pick these three that we both agreed on so yeah as soon as we were talking about it we were like this this and this and boom here they are so I'm just gonna start off with the three that we picked out together and if you watch my videos at all you should not be surprised by any of these so the first one that we picked out was the Jouer Bouquet D'Amour 6 Pam blush palette can't stop talking about blush I'm so sorry but this is going to be the absolute perfect blush palette for the spring. You have the most beautiful pinky colors. You even have a really cool, unique orange color as well. I am so in love with this formula. I actually kind of want to buy some split pans as well, but this is such a great way to be introduced to Jouer blushes as I was, and I am head over heels for this formula. It deposits the perfect amount of pigmentation and blendability. I just cannot say enough good things about this blush palette. I know Bella loves it as well. Double way, I mean, you guys. It's it's not just me that thinks this. This is so good. Another item that we picked out is something that I can't stop talking about and these are the Benefit Cheek Leaders palettes. We were deciding between recommending the little ones and the big ones. Ultimately, we decided on the big ones because the sale is 15% off so you might as well go for the big ones while you can get them on sale. The first one is a pink squad. This one's really pretty. If you like pink cheeks, pink highlighters, you have a bronzy blush and a hula bronzer. Really, really pretty. But the one I would personally recommend, just based on my own personal preferences, is the Bronze Squad. This is definitely my favorite of the two. You get a Hula Bronzer, Caramel Bronzer, you get Coralisa, which is on my cheeks right now. So you get Gold Rush Blush, and you get Cookie Highlighter. And Cookie Highlighter is what I'm wearing, and this is my current favorite highlighter of the moment. It is fantastic. So I cannot recommend these enough to you guys, and since you can get them for 15% off, why not? And finally, the last item that we picked was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera Palette. Now, the reason that I love this is I feel like it's going to be perfect for spring and summer, and the formulation on this is just so beautiful, and there's so many shades in here that I consider to be very unique to my collection. For some of you, this may be scary. I would recommend going seeing my video on this because I do show you how to get a neutral look with this palette as well. But you know what, since it can be a little bit scary, it's a little bit more tempting to buy because you can get it for a little bit of a percentage off. And I don't know, this is one of my current favorite palettes because it has some beautiful, beautiful, unique colors. I'm really hot right now. Oh my gosh. And I totally recommend that everybody picks this up, so why not pick it up now? You know what I just realized? That I forgot to even tell you about the details of the sale. I was so excited about talking about Bella that that slipped my mind. So this sale is going to start on May 1st. If you are a VIB Rouge or a regular VIB you are going to get 15% off. Like I said, starting May 1st, most of the time Rouge starts a few days earlier. They haven't released a date for that. So as of now, it's starting May 1st. If you are just an insider, you are going to get 10% off everything. Makeup rarely goes on sale, so it's always good to stock up on some of your favorite things at this time of year. Now, more towards the fall, they will have a 20% off sale, so maybe not. don't go buck wild in the sale, 
sale because it's not the most percentage off you can get. So for this sale, I would definitely recommend picking up your favorites and your staples, you know, things you go through like mascaras, brow products, your everyday foundation, um, things like that is what I would recommend going through. Skincare too. Mm -hmm. I picked a lot of things that were genuinely some of my favorite products. Of course, I'm not talking about everything. You can check out my previous VIB sale recommendations, you know, like Natasha Denona palettes, Pat McGrath palettes, uh, some of my older favorite foundations, things like that. Those are still things that I recommend, but I don't want to repeat anything. So I just picked some of my brand new favorites for the spring for you guys. So let's start off with foundation. So the first foundation I'm recommending to you is very very pricey it is a great everyday foundation and i'm recommending this one to you because it is so pricey at least get a little bit of buck off you're going to save a little bit of money so this is the la mer the soft fluid longwear foundation i don't believe i've talked about this on my channel yet um i bought this a couple months ago and i just don't really talk about it that much because it's so expensive so i don't use it every single day but dang this is so good i have mine in the shade natural 12. I have a really soft spot for extremely luxe foundations. I think high-end foundations are quite comparable to drugstore foundations, but really good luxe foundations, like there's no drugstore foundation that can compare to them, to be honest. So this has been one of my favorite liquid foundations of the moment. It just looks so natural on the skin and it wears so well throughout the day. I cannot get over how good your skin looks as time goes on. So if you are looking for a really great expensive <laughs> luxe foundation for events and whatnot or even every day I would definitely recommend picking this one up concealers I did pick out two for you these are my two favorite concealers of the moment we have the Too Faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer I was so late to jump on the bandwagon for this one but once I did I saw what it was about this concealer is so good it provides the most perfect amount of coverage without being too drying. Um, if you don't like the shape tape, I would recommend you check this out. I hate the shape tape and this is so good. This is probably my favorite concealer of all time. That's how good it is. Mine is in the shade Light Beige, which might be a little bit too dark on me, but I still make it work. In love with this. That's what's on my under eyes right now. Favorite concealer, 100% you need to pick it up. Another concealer I've been loving is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric High Stretch Concealer. Mine is in the shade number four. I love this concealer. It blends out so easily. It is so thin. This is a great everyday concealer. I just love how easily this blends into the skin. So I just think this is really good and you should definitely try it out. It is a little bit more pricey because it's Armani, but it is so good. So this is a great opportunity for you to try these concealers out because they are fantastic. So bronzers, I've been really into cream bronzers lately. Between Scott Barnes and just me generally really liking cream products, uh, the first one I picked out was the Milk Makeup Baked Bronzer. As far as I can tell, the last time I checked this was sold out, but if you can get it, go ahead and do it. This is such a great cream bronzer. It comes in a stick. You get so much product. I'm recommending it in the sale because, I mean, it is quite expensive, but it's so good and you get so much product. It blends so easily. It is not too dark for my skin tone. It looks really natural. The thing with cream bronzers is they just look so natural on your skin. There is something that looks much more blended, much more even. So I've been loving cream bronzer and this one has been one of my favorites. Another favorite of mine is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour One. Mine is in the shade Fair Medium. This is more of a liquid contour. It is so beautiful. This is what I use to bronze my skin today. So the thing with this is when you put it on, it looks quite scary, but actually once you blend it out, it blends out so easily. It is such amazing quality and it looks just so good on the skin. I think I've actually already convinced a lot of you to purchase this. It is just so dang good. Such a luxurious formula. Definitely would recommend this. All right, so uh, let's move on to more blushes. So the first one that I have to recommend to you guys is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blush in the shade Pillow Talk. At first, I didn't think I was going to love this as much as I did, but it really is just the most perfect 
everyday formula. You can get a shimmery finish if you mix it in with this middle shade, or you can use this middle shade as just a highlight as well. It is such a pretty natural sheen, and the color is just so great for every day. It's going to look good on so many skin tones and with so many different looks. This is a good time to buy a single blush because single blushes can be a little bit more on the pricey side, but this one is so good. This is a great one to travel with because it's going to go with whatever you're wearing that day. And then, of course, this video wouldn't be complete without the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow. I did a whole tutorial review on this, and it is so good. This is just plain quality. I don't really want to talk about it anymore because I've already talked about it so much, but if you know, you know. Okay, so it's time to move on to the eyes. I think I'm going to start off with a couple lid toppers that I chose. And these are from Touch and Soul. And these are the Metalist Sparkling Foiled Pigments. These are so good. I actually have one in my basket for my wish list. So this first one here is Sun Aura, which is like a green, brown, almost pink duochrome. Such a beautiful, unique color. And then the other one that I have here is Cream Peach. If you are into a really sparkly foiled look on your lid, look no further. These are fantastic. Not enough people are talking about these. I don't have them on today, but oh my gosh, these complete a look. You can do whatever grease colors you want and then put this on the lid and you look so glam, so pretty. The sun's going to reflect off your eyes if you're wearing this in the summertime. I love these and I don't experience any fallout with them either. They are so good. I have three more eyeshadow palettes to talk about with you guys. They are all Vizzy Art because Vizzy Art expanded their range on Sephora and I can't help but talk about them because they are one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. So the first one is the Grande Pro Volume 1. This is extremely pricey. It is $175, which is why you should get it on sale. Or if you're looking for another deal not from Sephora right now, I believe Muse Beauty Pro for the month of April, if you spend $100, you'll get $20 off or like for every hundred you spend so that's also an option but this is an all matte palette they do have a shimmery one that's also really good I just really really love this one um it has every color that I need now this I actually don't use a ton on myself personally this I just keep in my makeup kit because it's so great for bridal makeup so if you are a makeup artist this is definitely worth investing with the shades are so easy to work with and it has every color that you need for that neutral kind of look and then of course you do have a few pops of colors but I am so obsessed with this it's very pricey that's why I'm mentioning it but it is so so good and if you're not a makeup artist you will still love this it's so good this is a great everyday palette. A couple more eyeshadows that I have to recommend to you from Busy Art are their two newest Petite Pro palettes. So these aren't the most expensive, but why not get it while well, you can for a little bit cheaper? So this one's the one I recommend most, but it's also not the most wearable. So this is Soleil. You can create the most beautiful summer colorful looks with this palette. This palette is so tiny, but it truly does inspire me. And you know what? Summer travels, like you can't get any more portable than this. The second one here is a Pricotine. I do have reviews on these and tutorials. I mean, this is a summer evening palette. Everybody is going to love this. I almost used it today. I decided not to, but these are just so good. They're so cute and I really love the colors. And I just think if you really want to try the Vizzy Art formula. There you go. Last thing that I picked out for the eyes, and I'm so surprised that I'm mentioning it, but I truly have genuinely been loving this, and this is the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. Now, I got this in the Eye Ecstasy kit, but I definitely would consider purchasing a full size. This makes my lower lashes look like nothing I've ever seen before. I normally have a designated lower lash line mascara that I use, and this is so much better. It is so good. I don't have lower lashes, and this makes it look like I do have a little something there. I never talk about mascaras because I don't have lashes, but dang, this is so good. Such a good mascara. One of the best I've ever tried. So, lips. 
I picked out two formulas that I really, really love. So since Charlotte Tilbury was not always on Sephora, I'm taking advantage of the opportunity that they are now. And she has some of my favorite lipsticks in the entire world. I did pick out my two favorite nudes because that's all I've been wearing lately is nudes. So the first one that we have here is Nude Kate. This is kind of a lighter nude. This has been my favorite for the past couple of years. I do like my nudes to be a little bit more peachy and undertone, so if you like a good, really light peachy nude, you will like that. And then something a little bit deeper than Nude Kate, but again, very similar, is Hepburn Honey. So funny, but this is like my good luck lipstick. Uh, every time I have something important going on, I wear this and I think it brings me good luck. So Nude K and Hepburn Honey from Charlotte Tilbury. These two have the most beautiful formula. They're very, very moisturizing on the lips. Speaking of moisturizing lipsticks, I also want to talk about the brand new Milk Makeup Lipsticks. I've been loving these. They do slide around a little bit on the lips, but with a lip liner, your problems are all solved. So I have two shades here that I really love. Well, these are the only two I own, but <laughs> this is Wifey. If you like a little bit more of a deeper mauve, I'm also really into mauve lips. So Wifey is really pretty great for every day for me. And then if you're into those peachy nudes, skills yes this is my favorite of the two so these two are just a really great moisturizing formula for the summer if you ask me i think you'll really like these like i said they do move around a little bit but they're so extremely comfortable on the lips that it's okay so to be honest these two are like my favorite lipsticks formulas in the world as well as hourglass hourglass has an a1 lipstick formula and then i did pick out two lip glosses for you guys because it's all about the gloss so this is the gloss that i have on i actually have it on top of fenty on button this is my first time wearing that and it's really pretty peachy nude <laughs> but we have the pat mcgrath labs lip gloss in dare to bear this has been one of my favorite to put on top of my peachy nude lips that i seem to wear every day such a pretty formula it's quite long lasting for a lip gloss and I just love everything about this lip gloss. This has been one of my favorites. You can also get this in a little set of trios that they have. So if you are looking to save a buck as well as get two other shades, get that little set. If not, get this. This is really good. And then of course, I have to talk about the Fenty Gloss Bomb and Fussy. This is a little bit more of the pink version, which is going to be great for spring. I mean, just get any of these in any for color, but the formula is so, so good. I like the applicator. I like the smell. This is just really great general lip gloss to wear with anything especially in the spring i definitely am going to try to go for more pinky shades so this is it i am like so exhausted right now this is a lot of talking so i have three more items for you these are skincare items skincare is so important to buy during these sales because one skincare is expensive two you use it every day i mean i personally jump around a lot with skincare but i tend to actually use up my skincare. So the first one is the Dr. Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite everyday moisturizers. It's very cooling on the skin. It's very thin, so I think it's great for mornings for me personally. And I just like the way it sinks into the skin and it's like water-based and it just melts into the skin. It melts into your hands. I really like this. I like how lightweight it is and it's just so easy for me to throw on in the morning. Another thing I love is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Now, typically, I do try to use a cotton pad and some makeup remover, but sometimes I'm so lazy, or if I'm having a light makeup day, I will just use this and just put it all over my skin. It does a really good job of getting rid of makeup. Obviously, you still kind of need to scrub away to make sure you got everything with a makeup wipe or something afterwards, but this is really, really good. It gets eye makeup off really well, so when I'm feeling Feeling lazy I like this and I'm like almost out so that's why I'm mentioning that finally oh, catch my breath we have the Laneige lip sleeping mask so the last couple months um, I've been coaching a team so I've been outside in the cold um, and my lips were really suffering and this saved my life they have a bunch of different flavors in this now I think I still just love the regular rose there's no other lip balm that is better than this I'm sorry I said it a lot of other people have said it this is the best just pick it up I'm not going to talk about it anymore it's that good just get it <laughs> okay so that was everything that was a lot of things 
But that is everything that I'm recommending to you guys. I've just been so excited about makeup and the releases lately that there's so many things that have come out that I am so in love with. So I have a lot that I recommended to you guys. Let me know down below what your recommendations are or what you will be picking up. I do plan on a little closer to the sale posting a wish list video. So basically what that means for me is I've been filling up my loves list on Sephora and I'm basically just going to read those off to you. There's so much so stay tuned for that and then of course check out Bella's channel she's like the sweetest person ever I love her so much I know you guys will too and her videos are so good okay she's going to be big I promise you <laughs> anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you found this video helpful I actually did take a lot of time to pick these items out and remember to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys have a great day I'm so hot